What is going on, YouTube? Trey Tudor coming at you guys with another Defender of Texas video. And today, I want to come at you guys with the Pride Highlights video. So, um, let's get right into it. We have um, Ura and Adabai, the rare and epic version of the Legendary. Uh, one has Vent Adept. The other here has Vent Elite. And then we have our legendary Lagash. Um, he's a water champ, uh, very high HP, pretty nice defense. He's, he's pretty much a tank with some pretty nice attack as well. So um, head game all elite move skill. When it comes to vexing all, seven heads are better than one. Um, don't know if, um, what kind of skill we got here. Sounds like an attack, but we just don't know. Um, another 3 for 3 legendary, so I'm guessing this is going to be a normal thing with DNA from now on. So, um, another legendary champ, which is always a great, always a good thing. Um, moving on from Lagash, we have our Primacy Prizes, which we get, of course, from placing high in our mob raid bracket each and every day. Um, from the first half, we have Amaretta here, who is on 500% as this event. Um, Amaretta is a water warlock. Um, so, of course, he's going to have the somewhat decent HP coupled with the um, pretty good attack and also pretty good wisdom, like decent wisdom. Um, heal all the depth which is a skill you don't really see too often on fighters, so that's good. Um, that's gonna make her worth having. Um, cooldown on it is nice as well. She has a cooldown of 4-2. So, um, you know, as long as you can keep her alive and get her to use that skill, she will be good to go. So, um, Amaretta's probably gonna get the most use in an event like Dungeon. Um, heal your fighters every couple of turns and you know, keep them alive that much longer. And then last but not least, we have Astruga, who is our snowman from the Facebook likes. Um, Astruga is a water champ also, so of course he's going to have the HP, the good attack, and the decent defense. Um, wisdom agility, not so much. Um, brand new skill, Snow Dome Adept. Shake things up for every foe with a blast of winter wonder. So um, this guy's completely new and in a class of his own right now. But um, he is a water champ that hits everyone, which is a good thing. You get a lot of use out, for, um, out of him in PvP. And um, also the sentries for the siege events. He'll be useful as well. Um, don't know his cooldown yet because he's going to be the primacy prize for the second half of the mob raid event we're currently in. So um, the cooldown is going to be everything with this guy. So keep your eyes on his cooldown. Of course, the lower it is, the more useful he is. And last but not least, we have our Paragon. With the longest name ever. <laughs> Regolith Stone Hume. He's our Paragon for this event. So, 1000% edge. And of course, he's also a Warlock. He's actually an Earth Warlock. Um, so, of course, his stats are going to be astronomical during this event. New skill, Rock Elite. Forget the paper and scissors. Shake all foes with this Fist of Fury. So, um, there's something that's unique about regular stone hewn that hasn't been done with any other paragon to my knowledge um, his skill rock elite is not based off of his attack stat it is actually based off of his wisdom which is why his stats are the way that they are um, he has 5390 wisdom off of the edge which is very high for um, these paragons as of late but where he suffers at is HP this DNA had to do a balancing act there 
So they did knock his HP down. He only has 2,441 HP. Um, and coupled with only 1,240 defense, this guy is not really going to be a survivor. I mean, a good smack upside to him from any halfway decent fighter is just going to drop this guy beneath Earth. So, um, he's going to hit hard because the high attack and high wisdom. So, whether he has his skill or not, he's going to do damage. But he can't really take any either. So, um... He has a good cooldown though, cooldown at 3-1, if I didn't mention that already. So, um, you know, he, he's definitely one you want to use this event. After the event, um, don't know. We'll have to see. So, those are our fighters. But, of course, I don't want to start there. I want to bring you guys some comparisons. So... Of course, we got Lagash, our new legendary for this event, and he's one of the three for three um, newer legendaries. So, in all honesty, there's only really two other fighters that we can fairly compare this guy against. So, um, the one I chose because he's the, the tankier one, just like Lagash, was Abba Meskir. He was the legendary from our last event. Um, one of them anyway. He goes three for three just like Lagash. So comparing this guy, um, statistically, he is just a little bit beneath Lagash in every category. Um, Lagash has 51 more HP, 102 more attack, 115 more defense, 12 more wisdom, and 15 more agility. Now they both have uh, cooldown skills that are elite and hits the entire line but we know Abamis has a cooldown of 3-2 so you no know, it's basically dependent upon the cooldown of the gas I mean statistically he's looking better anyway so um, there's nothing that can really make Abamis better than him unless Lagash's cooldown is just absolutely horrid like if he has some ridiculous cooldown like 4-3 or something like that, then this, this guy's done. But um, that's the closest comparison for the gas. Now for our next comparison, we got to compare Am Amaretta. And Amaretta's comparison is pretty much just the same as her recolor. So here we have Sarsanaya, um, the recolor, Amaretta, the, the alternate look. Um, they are very, very similar in stats. Um, but Sarsanaya is the better fighter by a little, just a smidge. Um, Sarsanaya has 133 more HP, 185 more attack, 40 more defense. 118 more wisdom and 54 more agility. Um, other than that, these two are completely alike. They both have heal all adept with a 4 2 cooldown, but Sarsanaya has the edge because you got the stats, you got the better statistics. So um, if you have Sarsanaya already, you probably um, can either couple. Sarsanaya with Amaretta, or you'll probably be looking to get rid of him because you already have the better fighter. Um, the next fighter we would usually compare would be the Snowman Astruga. But as I mentioned before, this guy's pretty much in the class of his own, so there's really no one I can compare him to. So um, we're going to leave him alone for now, and maybe later on down the line we can get a better comparison for that guy. But... For our comparison for our Paragon regular Stone Hume, we can compare him to our Paragon from the last event, Mr. Blasterium. So, um, quite a difference here. Um, regular Stone Hume is our Paragon for this event. He has much less HP than Blasterium. Um, they have really close attack. A difference of about 120 or so. Really close defense. Um, only about a 25 or so difference there. 
a great, great gap between the two in wisdom. Um, as I mentioned before, regular stone humans cooldown skill goes off of his wisdom. So his wisdom is 5390 compared to Blasterian's 3553. Um, Blasterian doesn't really have much use for wisdom anyway, besides it being a defensive um, mechanism against someone like Gurus and their magic. And um, they both also have similar defense and difference of only about 35 or so. Um, both elite skills, both have a cooldown of 3-1. It's just the differences being because regular stone human skill goes off of wisdom. He has much higher wisdom, but DNA balanced him out with throwing him some much lower HP. He has about 1,500 less HP than Blasterian, so... Um, that was the closest fighter I could compare regular stone human to was our last pair of guns. So there you have it guys, our prize highlights for the Crystal Clash Mob Boss event. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more dot videos coming soon. Like, favorite, subscribe, comment, share, everything else. And I will be coming back at you guys with more dot videos soon. So thanks for watching once again. Trade to the signing off.